Um, um, but yeah, you know, she wanted to come on, and I'll be honest with you, when she came on, because I mean, she, you know, she's a woman now. Yeah. So even though I have her co-hosting, but then I did an episode where I'm interviewing her, wow. you know, and so we're talking about her upbringing, her. Her, um, you know, just her life and her becoming. Did you, know, you find out stuff that you didn't know? Well, um, not necessarily that, but I was I was um, surprised and proud just because it's like, damn, she got her own mind. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Yeah, I I seen your daughter. She came on, man. I was yeah. jealous again. You know, whenever something happened in other people's lives and I'm looking at my life, I get a little jealous. I'm like, dang, why my daughter couldn't come on Compar staff? And Comparison is the thief of joy, man. man. I was happy for you, yeah, but I'm yeah, like, yeah. what? But my daughters do so much other yeah. stuff. But still, like that was a, mm -hmm. that was amazing to see that she she's mm -hmm. taking the time out to you know invest time in what you're doing, man. That's not easy, man. Sure. That's not easy, bro. Um, well, my daughter's 30, so my daughter grown My son's 29, he yeah, helped man. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, and you know, that was something that she, she wanted to do. She's, she's uh, you know, an entrepreneur. She's getting off into the media space. Okay. Um, you know, and my daughter, my daughter, you know, I had my daughter when I was 16. Mm -hmm. So my daughter was around when I yeah. signed a No Limit. And mm -hmm. so my daughter grew up in the studios with wow. me. You know what I mean? That's so hard. when I would write my raps as a teenager, she was right there. You know, she would be in the studio with me. So she's raised on gangster rap, you know, <laughs> so. Um, um, but yeah, you know, she wanted to come on and I'll be honest with you when she came on, cause I mean, she, you know, she's a woman now. Yeah. So even though I have her co-hosting, but then I did an episode where I'm interviewing her, hmm. you know? And so we're talking about her upbringing, her, her, um, you know, just her life and her becoming, did you, know, you find out stuff that you didn't know? Well, um, not necessarily that, but I was, I was. Um, surprised and proud just because it's like damn she got her own mind yeah. she mm -hmm. has she's her own and some things that she you know that that she is about and she does is not necessarily how she was raised mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know but she's our own person you know mm -hmm. but then her recount of, of things me raising her I was like damn I did that yeah that's I what I was, like, I was like you know because you because know her perception of it well yeah I mean I had her as a kid like I told her I used to tell her look I had you when I was a kid well, fuck you want from me I did the best mm. I could you know what I'm saying so I exposed her to a lot you know what I mean I exposed her to street shit um, I exposed all of that I used to have her with me you know what I mean did so. you ever ask because one thing I've seen happen to some people <clears throat> you raised her when you were younger and mm -hmm. then you had others while you were older right yeah and the older one sometimes can get jealous because the younger one almost got the better parts of you because you're more mature, yeah. you know how to handle things differently, yeah. or you're more financially able, so yeah. they get a lot of more stuff than, yeah. you know, the older mm -hmm. one at a young age. And I don't stuff know like that, that that was her experience. Um, you know, I don't think she wanted to, you know, she used to didn't want to watch her, her brother and sister. She would, but, mm -hmm. you know. She didn't have um, no choice. Yeah, she didn't have a choice. <laughs> you're the eldest. That's what you're supposed to do. Um, well, they all get mad about that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I was the only child, so I didn't have to deal with that <laughs> shit. But, um, you know, I think that she, uh, yeah, you know, um, she love her brother and sister. Mm -hmm. They tight, you know, and they all is 30, 22, and 18. Mm -hmm. So, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they tight. I think, I mean, I'm going to be real with you, man. Uh, it's just... <clears throat> To get him to come in and, and like I, I enjoy my son, he help, he help with the PR stuff. He get contact people. <coughs> he'll call this person, call that person. He'll mm -hmm. reach out, but mm -hmm. and he enjoys the show. Mm -hmm. He get a little jealous or, or a little. He'll get a little. He look at other platforms like oh they yeah. did this or they not doing that. Yeah. So I know you really take it to heart. So yeah. that that means something to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. The kids to come mm -hmm. in like now and just help us. That's hard, man. Man, parenting is. You listen, you know we we don't have a, a book. You know, mm. it's, it's, it's the easiest thing to mess up. You know what I'm saying? You can't. Nobody does it perfectly. Um, and especially, you know, now, you know what I mean? It's a whole different generation. You know, the way we were raised doesn't necessarily translate to a world that, it, you know, the way we was raised, that world doesn't exist anymore. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Um, so it's, it's different. These millennials and these Generation Z's and, and all of that, like they different. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.